Hey Warriors, it's Victoria, and I thought it'd be fun to come to you with these northern lights behind me, uh, just because I want to talk to you about hypnosis and how it relates to chronic fatigue syndrome recovery. Basically, uh, hypnotherapy is used for anesthesia in surgery. So, I mean, there's tremendous, it's accepted and approved by, you know, all the medical, the dental association, they all use this. Um, when you can't use anesthesia. So it's a very powerful mind-body tool. And the reason I think it's so important in chronic fatigue syndrome is that it helps you train and regulate the nervous system because it puts the body into a deep state of relaxation. And so what that does is that turns on the alpha waves, theta waves, and de even delta of the brain waves. And so it gets you out of that busy mode and puts you into a very relaxed, slower brain wave. And that again, helps calm the nervous system. It turns on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest system. And it's also where you're in a healing state because our bodies cannot heal when you're in that fight or flight. That is the mechanism really behind CFS that puts the body in that locks it into fight or flight. Now we're often just in a natural state of hypnosis, you know, just when you're doing the dishes and you might be looking out the window and you're just kind of in a different little world thinking about something or um, when you're driving or reading a book. And one of my favorites is watching a movie and eating a little chocolate. That's very definitely a hypnotic state. Um, it just means that your body's relaxed. And the interesting thing is you're more open to suggestion at this time. Your subconscious mind is more open. So we're in these states a lot. So it's a natural state. It's not like you're going unconscious and you don't know what's being said or what's happening around you. Um, it's just simply a very deep state of relaxation. The difference is with hypnotherapy is you're doing this relaxation and this natural state with an intended purpose. You're doing it with intention and uh, you're doing it for a specific outcome. So as I mentioned, the subconscious mind is more open to suggestion at this time. And so it's a great you know, thing to do uh, a therapy around confidence in recovery, uh, a positive mindset, deep sleep, all these things can help support your recovery. And that's like an added bonus because you're already getting those alpha theta waves just from relaxing. But when you allow that time to be productive in a sense, by allowing your subconscious mind to get these new suggestions, it actually stays with you when you're out of the session. And so, um, like I remember when I used to rest so much with chronic fatigue syndrome and I'd go, wait a minute, you know, I'm just, I've always been a very progressive believer in this kind of thing, using the mind body techniques to heal. And I was thinking, why don't I just make more use of that time? I'm in bed right now, but someday I'm going to be well, and I'm going to be doing things. So let me listen to some, you know, audios that will be useful for me even in the future. And so uh, really, I think content is king in this matter. You, you want to know what you're going to be doing. And so basically you start with an induction. Uh, that's where you get relaxed. That's where the therapist, or the audio will take you into, you know, noticing your body, you know, just getting kind of connecting with them. And then you'll go through your therapeutic suggestions on whatever that might be, if it's sleep or if it's, you know, uh, relaxation. And then the next phase is where they'll bring you out of that relaxing state. And you could always just, you know, open your eyes, but, and you can even do it with your eyes open. Um, so again, the way you might feel more comfortable if you're just starting out with this is listen to the whole audio so you know what's being said. So if you're a little nervous, like, well, what are they going to be telling me? Are they going to be brainwashing me? <laughs> you know, listen, see if it fits for you. If it doesn't, don't use it and then find one that does. And so I especially had this question come up as a Christian, you know, should a Christian do hypnotherapy? And, you know, I think that you need to be led and you need to pray and, and know what's right for you. Um, and I, I will just say that for me as a Christian, I have 
you know, there are some audios I simply just like, this isn't working for me. But then others, if there, anything is ever said, is, you know, sometimes it is that I don't really agree with, like, I believe in myself. Now I do believe in myself, but that's not something that I focus on a lot. Like, you know, I believe in God and I know God does these things. So I just say, you know, I believe in the gifts and talents God has given me or something like that. I just say it in my mind as I'm going through those therapeutic sessions. So you have control and you can, you know, make it what works right for you. I think that's it. I just wanted to share it with you and, and encourage you, you know, to get into these beautiful hypnotic states because it just turns on all those good chemicals in the body when you're relaxed and uh, it just really brings a sense of well-being. Okay, warriors, I hope that this conversation has been helpful if you're looking to explore hypnotherapy. Um, you know, you don't need to go out and get a therapist. You can just listen to them on YouTube or go to Amazon and get Glenn Harold. Or I've got some on my channel that you can just dive into. So take care, warriors. I wish you the very best in your recovery. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.